What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for stopping in the 3.0T guys and gals. Good news for you and that good news of course is that the Speed Culture Studios SCS custom catback system works for you too. I know you've been wondering because it's getting so much attention from the VQ guys. Uh, you want to know yourself and I know this is true because I get asked every single day how this system sounds on the 3.0T. So here I am today finally uh, with some clips for you to show you that indeed it does sound fantastic and yes indeed it does perform. It just warms my heart to be able to bring this video to you today so stick around. I got some things to talk about. There's a couple of variation possibilities. There's a couple of things to consider going forward if you have a 3.0T whether a Q50 or Q60 uh, and installing this custom catback system. Maybe you're not all that familiar and you're just clicking on this video because you want your car to sound a little bit better but you're not sure what to go with and all the other systems on the market are way too expensive. You want a deal on a good sounding good performing system well I got one for you. So let's get into it right now. Guys before we get into this video absolutely do not forget Forget that we have the spring into spring Tain S Tech lowering spring giveaway going on right now. You can get your name in the entry. Go to the link in the description below to that particular giveaway video. Make sure you follow the directions to get yourself entered. Uh, a chance to win the Tain S Tech lowering springs for the 2014 to 2019 Infinity Q50. That entry period ends March 28th. That's Sunday, March 28th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you get in. Good luck to everybody. Let's get going on this exhaust video. Okay, first of all, I'll just give you sort of a quick overview if you're not familiar with the system. Uh, obviously, a lot of you ask the question because you are familiar and you just want some details, uh, but that's good. But for those of you that are brand new and you're just curious, the Speed Culture Studios custom catback system consists of three major components. Uh, one is the Borla Pro XS muffler, which is essentially a resonated X-pipe. It's, it's an X-pipe. There's two perforated cores, like resonators, that crisscross, uh, making an X. Uh, that's important. It allows the exhaust gases to cross over one another. It smooths out the tone of the exhaust. It keeps the velocity up. It helps performance, helps the car sound better, and it's a key component to this setup. There is some variation. We'll talk about that later on. The Second and third components of this setup are two Flowmaster FlowFX resonators. They're about 14 inch resonators, uh, about four inches in diameter, I believe, uh, about 20 to 22 in, no, 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 18 to 19 inches in overall length. So uh, larger resonators, but not massive. And there's two of those. Instead of the Y pipe, that's a big question. This system replaces your Y pipe. So your down pipes connect to uh, flanges, which you'll want to purchase, um, that connect to your down pipes. Test pipes in the VQ case allows you to disconnect and reconnect your catback system with ease. Uh, that goes in, so replaces the Y, into the dual inlet of the Borla Pro XS. And then it goes back out the other end to the flow effects resonators out uh, by your exhaust tips, by your tailpipes. Uh, so that's the basic setup. It's very simple. You can choose to go with some flex pipe if you'd like, like the uh, factory Y pipe comes with. It just helps reduce vibration. It's not essential, but it does reduce uh, or eliminate any vibration under the car, especially at idle or when it's hot out and your AC kicks on. Uh, so there's something to think about there. So the reason this system is so good for the VQ platform is that everybody knows that the VQ37 can be very, very raspy. Um, and the way to cure rasp is resonators. And the VQ is so raspy, large resonators are essential. So it does, it does tone down volume a little bit, uh, but more importantly, it gets rid of rasp. And that can be helpful for you 3.0T guys as well because it sort of has a that higher pitched kind of tinny, hollow tone, um, especially if you start, you know, if you do uh, downpipes, for example, lower downpipes with, with re removing catalytic converters. Um, the benefit of having a turbo car, twin turbo cars, benefit, uh, is that the turbos essentially act as mufflers or resonators themselves. So this is where the variation comes in. Uh, you could change things up a little bit depending on what your other modifications are. If you have eliminated your catalytic converters, if you are completely catless, I would do the setup as designed with the mid muffler back to the dual resonators. Uh, that's going to get rid of rasp. It's going to bring that tone down, not necessarily in volume, but give it more of a lower growl, uh, make it more aggressive, sound better, uh, sound meaner. 
And uh, that's sort of the tone that me as a car enthusiast would go for. <laughs> just done lower down pipes for example I still would do the setup as designed uh, there's a couple other alternatives one is instead of the Borla Pro XS you could use a Magnaflow dual in dual out uh, it's the same thing it's a perforated crossover uh, so it's essentially a resonated X pipe same design so essentially as the Borla uh, but it's a little bit smaller so it doesn't have quite as much sound deadening material uh, keeps it a little bit more aggressive uh, but it acts in the same way. So it's just one thing to consider. The other is if you have retained your factory catalytic converters. This is where the real uh, variation can come in and you can get creative with this. And this is the great thing about a custom uh, system is that you can really do what you want, but this is one that works. So if you don't want to do the research and you don't want to, you know, try to do the uh, trial and error stuff, you can go with this one and you know you'll be satisfied. Um, so again, if you retain all the factory cats and you just want a cat back system that sounds good, uh, again, because you have the catalytic converters in place that are really, really strong mufflers, and your turbos are all already acting as mufflers or resonators, um, you could you could forego the mid muffler. So just don't do the Borla or, or the Magnaflow, whatever one you choose. Or you could get an X-pipe with those flanges uh, and I'll link all this stuff in the description below so you can have an idea with quantities as well so you know exactly what you're looking for. Um, but you could do the flanges back to an X pipe and then just branch those back off to your tailpipes uh, using the flow effects resonator. So those resonators out back will just kind of kill any of that rasp that you might get because your, your factory muffler is gone, your factory resonators are gone. So you're basically just replacing your factory resonators with a little bit larger ones. Um, so they, they're going to flow better, um, but they'll give it more of a, a lower tone, more of a, a, a rumble, more of an aggressive, deep rumble, a growl, uh, rather than that kind of high pitch tone that you could get if you keep the uh, factory cat back and you just cut your muffler off, for example. I have seen someone else do it a little bit differently, and they didn't do the resonators out back. Instead, they just went with the Borla mid muffler. Uh, and that works too. Again, that's like a resonated X pipe, crosses those exhaust uh, gases, you know, they cross paths, um, kind of evening the tone of your exhaust note and then pushing it straight out the back. Uh, and that sounds really good too. So just a couple of options there for you. Now, The other alternative is, or not necessarily alternative, but something to think about, especially if you go catless, uh, you have other modifications in your tuning, uh, you're making a lot more horsepower, you're moving a lot more air, uh, you increase boost, so you're forcing more air into the engine and therefore you're trying to get more, and more air out of the engine. Uh, this may require you to increase uh, your catback system to three inch dual exhaust. Um, what I was talking about is a two and a half inch setup. That's what I have on my car. It's what most people are installing. Uh, you may want to increase that diameter to three inches. And this is where I would say the Magnaflow mid muffler is a better choice. It's harder to find the Borla Pro XS in three inch inlets and three inch outlets. I just haven't seen them as available as often. I think they're out there, but the Magnaflow, you can find those in a bunch of places, and I'll link that 3-inch Magnaflow uh, in the description below as well. Uh, but that just allows you, again, to increase that over di overall diameter and allow those uh, exhaust gases to get out as quickly as possible and flow as freely. Because turbo cars, especially turbo cars that are increasing boosts and increasing horsepower, need to move that air. So a 3-inch dual is good, whereas a 2.5-inch system for a bolt-on VQ, that's plenty sufficient. So I did send out a request on Instagram the other day, just yesterday actually, for all of the 3.0T guys that have installed this system to shoot me sound clips. I'm super impatient. I started filming this video immediately. So I didn't give 
people much time to respond. Uh, but there's probably a dozen or so 3.0T Q50s, uh, I think. I don't think any Q60s yet have installed it. Sorry if you have and I forgot. Um, but it does sound good. And thankfully, a couple of guys on Instagram shot me uh, some clips. So enjoy these. If I've spread them out sporadically through the beginning of this video. Uh, check those guys out on Instagram if you have any questions specific to their setup. It sounds uh, fantastic at idle, at rev, at acceleration, at wide open throttle. Uh, it's a great setup. It's very versatile. It's worked on obviously the VQ platform, both Q50 and G37, 370Zs as well. Uh, and so I'm really excited to have more 3.0T guys, both Q50 and Q60s out on the road uh, with this setup. Another thing to think about is if you're all wheel drive, it does work. I've had it, I've had all wheel drive uh, people set this up exactly how it's designed for the rear wheel drive, how I have it on my car with the mid muffler resonators out back. Um, but some shops have a little bit of difficulty or they don't think it's possible, so they don't even attempt. So what you can do if you're all wheel drive is install it in reverse. And this is what the 370Z guys do, just because of the room underneath the car. So you would basically come back, you could do an X pipe off of your, uh, off your down pipes uh, into those dual resonators. So your, the two flow effects resonators will be right under the car uh, where your you know, Y pipe generally is. Uh, they're right there in that vicinity. And then it goes all the way back to that Borla or the MagnaFlow uh, you know, big resonator. And so the pipes cross here, and I'll, I'll try to put a drawing, I, I've done a drawing of this in the past, but I'll try to put that up here on the screen. Uh, so it just comes back and it sits underneath the trunk where your factory muffler went in the first place. So it's, it's a design very similar to your factory design, except for rather than having really small, you know, narrow diameter resonators, they're much larger, much wider, open, you know, potentially three inch resonators back to a, a resonated X pipe, whereas your muffler is, you know, packed full of baffles and tubing and, you know, muffling material or whatever. So it flows a lot more freely, sounds a lot better. Uh, so there's ways around it. Now, the other thing to consider, guys, is installation. You can have all of these parts for under $300 or right around $300. And that includes uh, flanges, flex, flex pipe, resonators, and your mid-muffler. Shops. Get estimates from your shops. I would get estimates from your shops uh, local to you before you even purchase all the parts because you want to make sure. Um, but you should be able to have this installed for $200, $250. And that's not a joke. This is a 45-minute project. It's super easy. You don't need stainless steel. Aluminized steel from any exhaust shop will be just fine. It's not going to rust. Bends up nicely. Um, it, it's not a crazy setup with crazy bends. You don't have to worry about uh, crush bends causing restriction or anything like that. They're nice gradual bends throughout the system. It flows nice. It performs well. It's been proven time and time again on the dyno, dyno from uh, the VQ guys. Uh, consistently making 335, 340, 345 to the wheel easily on the VQ uh, with just test pipes and uh, drop-in filters or colder intakes. Uh, so the 3.0T guys, I won't worry about um, I won't worry about hindering performance or lacking performance with this setup either. And let's face it, it's not like a, it's not like an unusually designed, you know, crazy off the wall system. There's aftermarket systems that that look just like this already. So uh, it's nothing crazy, uh, but you can get it at a fraction of the cost of some of these, you know, big name brand, uh, you know, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollar systems. They sound it sounds just as good and it performs just as good as well. Uh, but with that being said. Don't let the shops push you around. Like I said, it's a 45 minutes to an hour job to install it. A little bit of material, $200, $250, even $300 bucks is not so bad. But if they start quoting you $400, $500, shop around. Go to a different shop. Maybe drive across town or the next town over. Uh, that's my recommendation. Shop around. Get estimates. Don't let them push you around. Uh, don't let them tell you it's five or six hour install. That's just nonsense. Either they don't know what they're doing or they just don't want to do it. So a few things to keep in mind. Uh, again, uh, hit the guys uh, tagged in these video clips of this setup. Um, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to to uh, give you some details or some of the, the stuff that they've uh, run into or how they feel about the system. I, kn I know a bunch of guys like it. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. I'm excited to bring it to you. I'm excited uh, that we're broadening our reach here with this uh, Speed Culture Studios custom CapEx system. I know you're going to like it. Install it. Check the description below. 
It's got all of the details that you need to pick up all the components necessary. Just remember what I said in terms of potential variation. There's, there's some options, and the, the, that's, again, the beauty of the custom setup. You can kind of do what you want to do uh, to make it suit you and fit your needs. Uh, but hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions about it whatsoever, leave it in the comment section below. I get to all of them as quickly as I possibly can. I'm happy to help you out, and again, I'm happy to see uh, more people trying this system out. So, uh, is you know, if I can help in any in any way whatsoever, I'm glad to do it. So I appreciate you guys watching very, very much. Stay tuned for more good videos for the Q50 uh, Nissan Infinity community. Thank you guys for your continued support. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.